Have you guys ever got into an accident, maybe falling down or, or just doing something that you didn't mean to do? Well, this experiment is all about an accidental invention, which led into one of the most amazing discoveries, which is one of the most popular toys in America today. See, in the 1930s and 40s, people used to use wallpaper. They actually wrapped their walls in paper. I know it sounds weird because we don't use it today, but the problem is these walls would get dirty. So this man decided to create a wallpaper cleaner, okay? And it was great. And the cool thing about it was it was non-toxic. But eventually people caught on that it was non-toxic and kids started using it, started building with it, started playing with it. And eventually this man came to realize like, wait a second, this is an even cooler toy than it is wallpaper cleaner. And that led to the accidental invention of Play-Doh. Now, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy Play-Doh when you could make it at home. And all I really need is flour and salt, a little bit of oil, that's it. And you can make it any color. You can make your blues, your reds, your greens, your yellows, and your purples. Now, what do I need? Let me show you, okay? I need exactly one cup of flour. And your measurements are important because if it gets a little too dry or wet, you could always mix and match your chemicals. Now, here's my one cup of flour. I'm gonna just dump it into my container. Okay, then I'm gonna take a quarter cup of salt. Quarter cup, think about it, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four. If you had a measuring cup, you could actually use your measuring cup, but I'm just gonna use an approximation. That's just about a quarter of a cup. I'm gonna pour it in. I like to now shake this around. I'm gonna stir it around so that the salt and the flour become one mixture where you can't tell that there's salt in there. It's just a floury salt mixture. And I'm just gonna add something a little special. I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of corn oil to just give it that, that nice texture that you guys are used to. One and two. And now you're gonna notice that the oil starts to beat up when it touches the flour and the salt. And now it's time to add your water. And I told you, you can make this any color you want. But now remember, Play-Doh has a certain texture to it. If you add too much water, you ruin it. Let's just make this Play-Doh, we'll make it yellow. I'm gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just cause I like the number seven. I'm gonna stir it around and I'm gonna pour water. But if you add all of it, you messed up your Play-Doh, it'll be too wet. A little bit and stop and start to stir, and start to stir, and start to stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, and stir, and you're gonna notice, if you see a lot of powder left, that means you should add a little more water. So I'm just gonna add a little more water, and now, it's time to get dirty, okay? You're gonna touch it at first, it's gonna feel nothing like Play-Doh, but by you being like a baker, and pressing it, and holding it, and feeling it, and you know what, if you notice that it's a little too wet, you could always just take a little more powder. Don't throw it away. Don't make extra garbage. Just like, like a pizza person. Sprinkles extra flour on his pizza if the dough is too wet. And press it and roll it. And all of a sudden, you're gonna notice that what used to be really wet starts to look a little bit like a certain substance that you guys are used to. Just keep pressing it and rolling it. Pressing it and rolling it. And if you don't like the way it feels, if you feel it's a little too wet, little bit of powder and press it and roll it and press and roll and yes it is a little messy but messy is fun and if you wanted to have some help put it on your table you could have a cooking sheet and press it and you could already tell it's not sticking it's sticking to my hand because I'm actually the person who's making it and my hands were already wet but press it and roll it and if you need a little more a little powder Little flour, press it, and roll it. And guess what? I just made an invention, and believe it or not, it feels just like real Play-Doh. And the cool part is, I never even left the house to go buy it, I made it. And you know what I'm about to go do now? I'm gonna make a red one, a green one, a yellow one, and I'm gonna build cool things like giraffes and dinosaurs. Go make Play-Doh, have fun.